This is question number three. It says determine whether the lines whose equations are r is equal to 1 plus 2 lambda i minus lambda j plus 3 plus 5 lambda k and r is equal to mu minus 1 i plus 5 minus mu j plus 2 minus 5 mu k are parallel, intersect or askew. The question carries six marks. Lots of different ways we can do this. I'm just going to rewrite these in column form. So if we consider now the first line, what we're going to have is 1, we will have 0, and we'll have now 3, plus some multiple, and we're using the scalar parameter, lambda, 2, minus 1, 5. If we now look at the second line, we have the position vector, minus 1, 5, 2, so minus 1, 5, 2 plus some multiple and we're using the scalar parameter mu we're going to have 1 we're going to have minus 1 and minus 5 minus 1 and then minus 5 so straight away we can see they are not parallel so not parallel as this direction vector is not a multiple as this one so not parallel as direction vectors so direction vectors not so not now in the same direction and I've shown that there so that's one way of doing it so let's see now if they uh, if they intersect or if they skew so what I'm going to do now is consider if the i components are equal we can say that 1 plus 2 lambda will be equal to minus 1 plus 1 lot of mu the j components we'll have now minus lambda will be equal to 5 minus mu. And then we'll have now on the k components 3 plus 5 lambda. And then on the k components of the second one we'll have 2 minus 5 mu. I've got lots of choices here. I'm going to call this one equation 1, this one equation 2 and this one equation 3. So if I add 1 and 2 together, so if I do 1 plus 2, what we're going to have now is 1 plus lambda will be equal to, adding these two together, we're going to end up with 4 and mu will cancel. So from this we can see that mu is going to be equal to 3. If we now consider that, plugging this in for equation number 2, so just subbing that in, minus 3 will be equal to 5 minus mu so we can say that mu will be equal to 8 we now consider whether this holds true for the third equation so we can see if it's consistent so we can say now check with third equation so if we check now with the third equation this is the k components so we've got a value of lambda and a value of mu from the i and the j components so let's plug this in we're asking, does 3 plus 5 lots of lambda, which is 3, equal to 2 minus 5 lots of mu, which is going to give me 8? We would need these to equal each other to be consistent and then, therefore, intersect. So what we've got then is 3 plus 15 is equal to 2 minus 40. So we can see that is not the case. Therefore, we can say now do not intersect, so do not intersect, are not parallel, so are not parallel, therefore skew, and we can say therefore skew, okay, and we would have to show essentially that this uh, equation was satisfied by lambda and mu if they were going to intersect. So that's one way of doing it. Looking at the direction vectors now and showing that these are not multiples of one another. Then going ahead, setting up simultaneous equations. Remember, these are the i components, these are the j components, these are the k components. These would all have to match up with the same value for lambda and mu, and they don't. Therefore, they do not intersect. They're not parallel. Parallel, therefore, they're skew. That's one of the many ways that you could answer that question.